Well, ladies and gentlemen, we be getting situations on a daily basis by the looks of it, okay? First, we had the Drake situation, the Diddy situation, the Dr. Disrespect situation, Creepy Chris situation, the Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast. We then had the BBC Samurai situation for Assassin's Creed, Assa Japan getting their schlongs involved, trying to cancel Ubisoft and all that, right? And we had the Concord situation, the Flintlock, the Woke Agenda and all that. The only thing that we were missing were like the Call of Duty refugees, right? But today, ladies and gentlemen, uh-oh, the Call of Duty refugees are out there in full force. They're not stopping, they're cracking their knuckles. Like the video if you're playing microtransactions should be free in video games and in call of duty as well dislike the video if you think uh you know hundred dollars microtransactions are perfectly fine i right, roll it warfare 3 Tengus. today's video is going to be a bit of a depressing one it's very dystopian in reality because it's come out that activision has sold ai created skins to call of duty players <gasps> how crazy is that so no. the report i'll put links to both the articles down there in the description but the articles are going on to say that modern warfare 3 some of the skins in the game have just been completely created by ai most notably the yokai Wrath skin was apparently just completely generated by artificial intelligence. There was no real people working on it whatsoever. It was just made by AI and then sold by Activision for fifteen dollars. Now, yeah, you this is highway robbery, bro. So they're using AI to make the skins for free and then sell it for fifteen bucks. Yeah, genius moves right there, man. That's business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. And of course, I, I remember that just like I, I believe like a month or two months ago, they fired almost like nineteen hundred devs as well. <laughs> Kind of makes sense. It makes sense. They don't need it. They don't need it. You guys remember, right? When Microsoft took over Activision, yeah. immediately yeah. they started doing a number of layoffs, like a metric ton of layoffs. Well, just one month after this skin came out where they sold a skin that was completely just made by artificial intelligence, Microsoft laid off 1,900 Activision Blizzard and Xbox employees just right after that. <laughs> and it's been reported that concept artists were forced to use AI to aid in their work. No longer were they able just to create something from scratch oh my god now listen man i'm like eh, 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 pump the brakes real quick right now i'm not opposed to the idea of using the ai if the content is good if the gameplay is fun and if the game is good i don't care right like uh, and generally Sega's don't not gonna care Sega's gonna be Sega's, okay Sega's not gonna care Sega's just want a good game simple as that and that's basically where i'm at whether they use ai or no ai the thing that sucks in this situation here is that they're using ai to make the content for absolutely free, but still be charging us $15, $20, that monkey punch that we saw, $80. And we also had that $100 weapon skin in the game to which people said that Activision is just giving us a reward. It's just, yeah, I've seen Call of Duty YouTubers, uh, not necessarily YouTubers, but Call of Duty players defend that crap by saying that it's just a reward. Look at how nice Activision is b being right now. Look at Activision giving everybody like that, that skin as a reward. They're not giving you as a reward. That's an IQ test. They're selling it for $80 and $100, damn it. They're charging you money. And also, I have read a comment. Somebody also brought it. Yeah, we got to talk about this one, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that, man. So, most of you probably are aware. Maybe you're not, but I guess you're going to be in the loose real quick. Y you know, this is the firecracker skin, right? Now, people are wondering, so did the AI made this firecracker skin, right? Got the burn eye and all that, right? But then later on, humans nerfed it. You know what I'm saying? They did nerf the skin as well. They did nerf the skin. They first sold it. For, I believe $20 and when everybody bought it you know I, I do agree like seconds were down bad okay extremely down bad right like seconds were you know uh, talking about the burnout and all that I mean damn homie uh, but later on they also did nerf it they reduced the content size by 50% it's like when you buy Doritos right like a like a bag of chips right like you know, you're assuming that it's gonna be completely full, right? It's gonna be completely, <laughs> it's gonna be completely full. But then it's like, you know, you have like half air. Sometimes it's like 70% air, 30% content, 30% chips. This is kind of like the same thing, man. They charge you full price. They let you see the content. They let you have the content. But after you've seen the content, they're like, let me just take it away. And, and this kind of also brings me back to the, the, the emo blame truth era, okay? You remember the emo blame truth era? I'm talking about Modern Warfare 2022, okay? 2022, when we simply had the, the, the friendly UAV online. When we had the friendly UAV online as a skin. And, and you know those were very very dark times and uh, I, I remember around those times 
the homie uh, we had rumors as, uh, as well right and the homie emo blame Twitch was covering it everybody was covering it that modern warfare 2022 was made with the help of ai oh, shit. Oh, i guess those rumors were probably true but i want to know where you at but wait for it uh oh roll it and create something that they were proud of, create something that was unique and interesting and something they thought would be good for the game. Instead, they're having artificial intelligence creating things like shop bundles or creating art assets within the game, which again is so damn dystopian, man. Like one of the things that made Call of Duty great back in the day was just the soul that the game had. How can yeah. there be soul in a game when it's not made by people, but when it's made by artificial intelligence? That's so creepy to me, right? If we look at the bundle itself, I'll put a link to the original video down there in the description okay there's really nothing unique about it it's just kind of like a demon skin obviously like demons and war zone like people use that phrase all the time and so ai probably picked up on that like how about yeah. we just make a demon skin via ai Damn. and they released it there's nothing crazy about it there's now, honestly bro if you're buying skins in a first person shooter game like that okay once or twice i, I get it right like you're like <laughs> I, I gotta fire dope mean if you're a kid i get it though but if you're an, if you're if you're a grown-ass man buying skins or i mean if you got all the money in the world and you're not necessarily complaining about these skins being high priced okay buy all the skins uh, you got all the money in the world yeah whatever right not talking about those people that got all the money in the world and people that buy skins and not complain i'm talking about people that complain about this crap and still buy it i'm talking about those people bro like you cannot blame anybody other than yourself okay and if you want change let's be real let's be real i don't want to be the guy to tell you what you gotta do with your money it's your money you do you right that's sim simple as that that's basically where i'm at but if you're somebody if you're part of the clan and you're like hey i want change i want i, I think microtransactions uh, uh have overtaken I, I personally do believe that but if you also do believe that microtransactions have overtaken it's like microtransactions galore in video games where uh we don't even get actual content the content the only type of content that we get is microtransactions uh, and, and they charge us like money after selling the game to us for full price if you're part of the clan i, I mean simply put bro change is not gonna come till we apparently we change our habits and we don't support it we gotta vote with our wallet simple as that like the video if you agree dislike if you disagree but if you think that 80 dollars microtransactions 100 dollars microtransactions are too much too much let's just boycott all of that let's not buy them at all if you want to buy the game yeah go for it but like don't buy microtransactions if you want if you want real change if you want real change and uh, personally i don't mind them using the ai to create content as long as the game is good as long as the principle is good as long as the content and people enjoy the game and the content right as long as the content is good uh and, and, and as long as they don't char overcharge us like that right like i, I i'm i with it i'm i with it it, it just I, I it, it just rubs people the wrong way when they find out that oh man it's the era that made the content and they charge you full price and later on <laughs> <laughs> they nerfed it too. They nerfed the they nerfed the firecrackers Bunda too in the game. Deadass, they did that. You are literally seeing the before and after shot right now. Let me actually put the. I'm trying to put my face cam on the other side. Yeah, here we go. Uh, right, like yeah, they literally did that. I know this is not the best or best of best angle here, but still you see what's going on. Damn it. Like, this is crazy, man. Like, this thing is crazy, bro. There's like a demon mask, there's a tongue, there's some horns, and there's a ghillie suit. And then when you look at the actual weapons themselves, they kind of look like they were made by AI because they are as boring as they could possibly be. Because again, they were just made by AI who didn't want to put any real details into it or yeah. anything like that. The weapon blueprints themselves only Wait had like it. three attachments on them as compared to five. It was just a really sloppy bundle. I personally have even seen anybody running that skin while playing Modern Warfare 3, but regardless, they put it out there for 15 bucks. They probably made it for pennies on the dollar because AI put it together. And I have a feeling this is only going to be the beginning. Now, according to the reports here, Activision Blizzard started the process of using AI in their games in early 2023. And by July of that year, they had secured access to ChatPT 3.5 and approved the use of certain generative AI tools in creating concept art and marketing materials. Well, after that, they have been... <laughs> So you're saying that uh, it, 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 
yeah, during the emo blame with era, yeah, forget the the UAV online right there, guys. Uh, UAV is all of his online, okay? But Bruh. yeah, during the emo blame with era, right? Uh, those were dark times, like I said before. I'm talking about the emo blame with era was specifically the Modern Warfare 2022, right? 2022. That that was the era. That's the the emo blame truth era. Y yeah, like uh, there were rumors that AI is making the game, and I know that the homie blame truth went crazy. He went nuclear as well, uh, and, and we were uh, discussing all of that I, 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 and now we're finding out that it started in 2023 i don't know about that one i feel like that s some of it was happening all the way back in 2022 probably not on the like so what were what they might have been doing right now uh right but i i guess they they started it back in 2022 or at least thought about it uh they were testing it yeah i, I guess they were running tests back then and i guess they got they got they got it working in 2023 <laughs> and we find out that they fired 1900 deaths as well go figure yeah the ai is gonna eat everybody's job alive man like damn actually started selling ai generated cosmetics through the modern warfare 3 store and the question is where is that going to end on one hand i'm like you know what it's a bundle there are like hundreds and hundreds of bundles in the cod shop like i'm not really someone who buys them i don't really care too much about the cod yeah, shop bundles yeah, 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 i yeah. care about what's actually in the game but yeah. if they're making bundles with AI, who's to say that the stuff that we do earn in game and the stuff that we experience and interact with in game is also not being made by AI as compared to actual people? I think it was the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, and a while ago actually, he suspected, I mean it's not confirmed or anything, but he suspected that perhaps the calling cards in Modern Warfare 3, like all of them, are made by AI because a lot of them just don't make any sense. They're not really, like the yeah, art that you, you get doesn't even tie to the challenge that there we go now slick is gonna start assuming that that was made by ai this was made by ai that was made by ai yo blame truth is gonna have a field day bro he's gonna have a <laughs> he's gonna have a he's gonna have a field day with this one and rightfully so you know what i'm saying rightfully so now listen i'm not against them using the ai but it's like the same thing right like if you're gonna tell me you're using an ai and you're gonna still charge me money then of course i'm gonna be like yeah damn bro like yeah th these seconds need their ass beat up in gta6 in gta6 guys in gta6 Bruh. <laughs> that you did and just overall they look so weird and goofy and out of place there's no unification between them or anything he suspected possibly those are made by ai what about the multiplayer maps sledgehammer there games has go. released a number of fantastic original maps post launch with modern warfare 3 who's to say a lot of the art assets on those maps are not just completely generated by ai as well original original I guess, <laughs> okay, now jokes aside, I think he may, means to say like the, the, the maps they drop after the remaster maps after launch, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I, I, I get it, I get it, Holmes, I get it. As compared to a real employee who wanted to put their heart and soul into making that map feel good, having that map look good, and having that map be original and something that Too sticks bad. with you, as compared to just being another shoot 'em up map that no one really thinks about. Going back to what I was talking about earlier, if you go back to a game like Call of Duty 4, for example, World at War especially, the atmosphere in World at War on every single multiplayer map mm. was there, mm. you felt it, you know what I mean? Like Black Ops 1 especially, Call of Duty Ghost did not do a ton of things amazingly, but the multiplayer maps and the atmosphere and the environments that you had, those did feel pretty unique and pretty interesting. You kind of felt like you were part of that world. You got immersed a bit more into the game because of how well the multiplayer maps were put together. Who's to say that AI is not going to take that over and the maps are going to become more bland over time and actual people, the people that built the COD franchise, the people that make it what it is, are going to be eventually just laid off in favor of bringing yeah. in more AI. And, and that's the thing, right? Like, uh, I, I read some people's comment and it's perfectly fine. Like, like, I, I, I understand where people are coming from. People are like, um, generally, some people are saying that, well, I don't care whether they use AI as long as it's a good game. And simply put, I, I stand there too. If a game is good, yeah, that that's uh, what it is. But the only thing that I'm saying here is that if you're going to use AI to make skins and all that, come on, man. Like $15, $20, $80, $100. Like, what the actual hell is that? Can a brother perhaps get the content for free? Okay, you cannot drop it for free, but like, damn, like the game is seventy dollars. You're charging a full price for the game. Had it been the game is like for free, okay, that makes sense, right? Charges twenty dollars for skin or ten dollars. I, I still think that's like even if the game is free, like ten dollars, twenty dollars, that's still expensive, bro. Like, come on, and for a couple of pixels on the screen, like, come on, man, I, I, I ain't got money like that, okay? Maybe you guys are rich like that, okay? That's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair, okay? But if they're gonna use AI, then ho holy smoke is, bro, what are we talking about? It should not be more than five cents, okay? It should not be more than five cents. Bruh. Guys, come on, man. Come on, I can go to China right now, bro. 
I can get it for two pennies, bro. I can buy the entire Activision for two pennies, man. The only reason I'm not going is that uh, not going there is because I don't have two pennies right now. Can I brother get two pennies? Can I really get two pennies? Simple as that. That's basically where I'm at. But uh, the other point here is this: that uh, now, if you're someone that's like, it's not gonna affect me. Oh, it's it doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't. I don't care. I just want good content. Now think about it. Just like you know, take a step back. Take a step back. You're probably working a job, right? Yeah, that's where I'm going, man. Yeah, yeah. Think about this for a second, right? You're probably working a job. If you're seeing this happen where Activision is using AI, Microsoft is using AI, and they're firing people, think about this way, man. Like, this AI crap is, can probably take away your job too, though. You know, it's already is a very uh, crazy, it's going crazy over on YouTube as well, where uh, you've probably seen a lot of commentary channels where you're like, oh crap, like the commentary is really, really good. But then come to find out that it's AI. I mean, you like it, but it's like, you later on find out that it's AI, right? So even on YouTube, like the AI has overtaken and YouTube has put some rules in place, but uh, it's not it's not super crazy, but it's going to get worse before it gets better, folks. So because it's watch cheaper, out, they can out. get it done faster. And we've seen this happen in real life countless times throughout history. We might just be at the very forefront of that happening again. As mm -hmm. of right now, Activision Blizzard or subsequently Microsoft have not commented on these reports coming out that a number of bundles within Modern Warfare 3 were completely just generated by AI. And why would they? I think why it makes they? them yeah. look pretty damn bad when they're laying off 1,900, almost 2,000 employees and implementing AI to do their jobs for them. Again, I understand like they are a business. They're in the business of making money. It's the same thing that they're talking about, you know, when it comes to and this is going to be a bad comparison. Please forgive me for this. But when, you know, when fast food employees were looking for $15 an hour and like big companies like McDonald's were like, OK, well, we're just going to make completely automated stores because that's yeah. just cheaper for us to do. It's kind of the same thing right here, you know, as compared to. No, I totally understand. It's like it's cheaper. You save money. And also you don't have to worry about if the employee is going to show up or not. Is he going to show up? Is he going to show up late or not? He's probably going to come complain about this and what if for some odd reason he delivers the food or makes the food and somehow it's not up to the standard or up to the quality you know there's like uh, these little variables these little things to worry about but if they can make it so the AI can overtake it and it's uh, doing its job correctly then hey why waste money why hassle why you, you know why waste your energy on hiring people when you know your roi can be so much higher by simply utilizing AI. just simple as that that's it's a no-brainer so that's basically uh, where we're headed right now so paying artists paying actual people that again we're talking about bundles here but the people that make the games you know whether it's like the reload animations the weapon camos the sounds of the freaking birds off in the distance on the maps that just immerse you more into the game itself those are the people that make cod what it is and those are the people that make any video game i don't care what it is that is what makes the game feel unique that is what gets people immersed in the game that's what makes people want to come back to the game if everything just becomes ai generated i have a feeling we're just going to lose all that soul maybe ai will will get so good that they can add that no i'm hearing this comment it's probably it's just a meme thing right it's just a meme thing but people are saying that this art the before one was made by ai and the humans nerfed it actually so when you think uh, when you think that way and what if this is true right like imagine the actual fire skin firecracker skin was made by uh, by an ai <laughs> by an ai it, probably not right but but let's just for the sake of it right uh the ai made it and the humans nerfed it that that's like oh at that point i rather have the ai make the skins right but obviously like a human is gonna take over after and just remove nerf the the stuff that was <laughs> in this case nerf the burna and make it walk uh, walkify or walkify the skin right so soul back into the game but i just don't see it happening at least for another couple of years but it seems like the forefront of this is upon us it seems like this is going to be the uh -oh. beginning of ai taking over in video games a lot more than what it has been in recent yeah. years and that's a bit scary if you think about it a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs things in the game are not going to make as much sense and it's going to end up being one of those situations where we're going to start questioning things all the time you know back when skill based matchmaking was kind of just this boogeyman we had like so many theories and so many suspicions in regards to how the matchmaking system worked until Activision came out and kind of explained how things worked at least to an extent and now we're gonna be sitting here like you know what is up with this like weapon camo here why does yeah. this weapon over here work was it because they actually generated a damn thing with AI because this new weapon that came out doesn't work properly oh man I miss the early days uh, you know when Modern Warfare 19 came out uh, there were patterns and all that suckers so were like yeah man there's skill based matchmaking yeah 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 there's no skill based matchmaking get good scrub you know we had like two 
types of gamers uh, around that time. One was saying, that, oh, there is skill-based metric. Yeah, 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 there is no skill-based metric. Yeah, 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 you're just toxic. You're problematic. You're a toxic gamer and all that. Man, I miss those times, man, because it was simple. Life was easy. Life was simple. And everybody was assuming things. Everybody was like, okay, well, you know, there is skill-based metric and there is none. We had Drifter at that time going crazy. You know, we had NASA scientists like J God, Exclusive Ace, uh, and all that. All of them, they were conducting like scientific studies, uh, cr numbers crunching it all day, every day, and were like, okay, well, there is skill based mastery. There is skill based mastery. And they were coming out with studies and all that. I miss those times, man. I, I guess now it's gonna be the AI thing. Is it made by AI? Is it not made by AI? And we would also need a, uh, a different kind of AI to tell us whether it's made by AI or not. But guys, check out this video on the screen recently. The Dr. Disrespect and the Creepy Chris situation is absolutely going nuclear right now. Check out this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.